it's Father's Day, so Tommy and Ian have decided to take the day off from cooking. Nothing new there, really, is it? <laughs> uh, well, fear not, though. Dean Diplock has been called in from the Radisson Blue Hotel in Athlone, and he's serving up a meaty, blokey man meal for them. Absolutely, absolutely. Can't go wrong with onion steak and Guinness. Can't go wrong. And a bit of say, crisp every time I think of Dean Diplock, I do think man food. I Meat. think chunky, meaty, food. hearty yeah. food. Yeah. That's what Billy called me and said, you have to do Father's Day. It's yes. the meaty day. You're so the man for Father's that's the day. one we're going to do. So what I've done basically is I've uh, browned off our steak. Uh, this is uh, beef steak, uh, sirloin specifically. Oh. Uh, it has a little bit of fat on it, which you, you do need. You don't want it too dry, otherwise the pie itself becomes quite dry. I've also, just for time purposes, uh, pre-caramelized my onions. Uh, that takes quite a little while to do. Two large onions are sliced up nice and fine. It is, after all, a beef and onion pie, you want a good bit of onion in it, and that mm. lovely sweet flavor is naturally gonna come out of it. So I'm just gonna add that back in again. Can you put in stewing beef instead of the lovely sirloin You can, well, but it's or? a bit dry. Okay. You know, this has got a bit of marbling through it, and that's what you're looking for in the pie. Um, I've got my pre-roasted spices, my cumin, coriander, and clove, our famous three that we love so much. Mm. They go in. We just start that off, to which I'm then also going to add my tomato paste. This just gives you a nice little rich flavor to it. Your garlic. Can't not have garlic. Um, this is bay leaf and thyme. I've got some Worcester sauce as well. Uh, two stock cubes. And then our Guinness. Okay. In that goes. Just straightforward Guinness. Just straightforward Guinness out of the can, is out of the bottle. Is it one can, is it? Which are, there's about 500 mils okay. here, one, one can. So we start that out. That gives you your stewing base basically to it, right? I'm also going to add just a squeeze of lemon to that, just to take that a bit mm. of sweetness away from the, on, uh, the onions that are uh, really glazed. And in goes our meat. So Dean, your quantities are gigantic. Well, like how many people we're is this going to be? Six to eight people. This is not for <laughs> small amounts. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to make a, a pie for six to eight people. Okay, so there's wow. plenty there. This is a family pie, basically. Right. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it with a really good veal stock. Wow, beef so veal stock, just to get it simmering. It's a hearty dish, so yes, we're doing it's another Father's Day, but a great dish for winter time. Winter, mm. perfect time. Put a lid on it, and we let it simmer nice and slowly till the meat is cooked, just soft to the touch. You don't want it completely falling apart, because remember, you're going to put it back in the oven and mm. cook it some more. So that's the base of it. Okay. We then take our dish, same type of one that I had, a nice um, oven-proof Pyrex dish. And once the meat is cooked, we can put it into the, uh, into the Pyrex dish. Let it cool down, come down to room temperature. It's nice to do it the day before. You can cool it overnight. Because when you put the pastry on, you want it to be cold or at least at room temperature. Okay. And just a store-bought puff pastry that we roll over, trim to shape, Garnish it up a little bit, and I have one, obviously, that we made earlier. Okay. And that is going to go into the oven. So oh, there's no. one that we made earlier. We've made a few small little cross holes in it just to let the steam out when it cooks. Otherwise, the whole pastry will burst apart. Mm -hmm. And uh, we egg wash it. So just to summarize, when you have that simmering on the hob, then bring it down in temperature, so turn it off, and then pop it in on top of the pastry. Correct. So cool it, uh, so cool it right down. Um, you can, as I said, make it overnight, get it into your container, into your dish like this one. Mm. I let it cool down to room temperature, popped it in the fridge overnight, okay. and then this morning I can cover it with the pastry and, and off you go. So, so you're putting your lid on It's You're on putting the, the lid on the, on the day, exactly. You can make it on the day, but again, as I said, just bring it down to room temperature. Otherwise, uh, the pastry softens too much when you're working with it. You know? Yeah. And I that, think it would be a lot to take, take on, wouldn't it, on the day to, to make it from it's scratch. It's easier to do it with a little bit of pre-preparation, yes. exactly. So that goes into an oven at 200 degrees Celsius, and we let that cook until it starts to brown nicely, and when you probe it to about 74 degrees Celsius. And that's basically it. It's as simple as that. The next step would, that we'll do is we're going to do the uh, roast vegetables. Uh, again, it's a little bit different. There's some pineapple in it. There's um, um, peppers and things in it as well, and some green veg at the end. So Delicious. Looking forward to that. And those too. roasted veg obviously would go with an array of dishes. An array of dishes, yeah. very, very popular. Um, I'm also using local uh, mm. rapeseed rape oil, oil. Uh, which is, I feel, for much better than olive oil. So uh, that will add a little bit of flavor to it as well. Great.